Hello, and welcome back to Species Spotlight. This week, we are going to learn about an animal that has recently populated New Jersey, the eastern coyote. Coyotes are a mammal that have expanded their territories within the last century. Before arriving in New Jersey, coyotes' main habitats were prairies and deserts. As habitat loss increased and the population of gray wolves decreased, the adaptable coyote population started to expand their habitat range. Eastern coyotes were first reported in New Jersey in the 1940s and can now be found in almost every municipality across the state. Eastern coyotes are considered a subspecies. Genetic research has shown that eastern coyotes contain a mixture of DNA from the western coyote, gray wolf, eastern wolf, and domestic dog. However, Evidence suggests that interbreeding took place many generations ago, and it is highly unlikely that eastern coyotes are currently breeding with dogs or wolves. In general, coyotes typically have gray-colored coats. In the eastern coyote population, their coats can vary from grayish-brown, red, or a light brown, with lighter-colored fur on their legs, throat, and underbelly. Coyotes have striking yellow eyes, a black snout, large pointed ears, and a bushy tail with a black tip that measures half the animal's body length. Normally, coyotes are about three to four and a half feet long and stand at two feet tall. In New Jersey, adult coyotes range in weight from 20 to 45 pounds, with females being slightly smaller. On average, a coyote will live up to 10 to 14 years in the wild. The coyote is a wild member of the dog family and can slightly resemble a small German Shepherd. A big difference from a domestic dog is a coyote's tail. The coyote has a habit of holding its tail below a horizontal position while standing, walking, and running. Coyotes play an important role in the ecosystem, helping to keep rodent populations under control. While small rodents are typically their main food source, Coyotes are also considered opportunistic omnivores and can adjust their diet to what is available. They can consume a wide array of prey, from animals as small as insects, frogs, and voles, to beavers, raccoons, young deer, and even carrion. When meat is not available, coyotes will consume many different fruits, nuts, and eggs. Because coyotes are so elusive, it is difficult to estimate their population size in New Jersey, but it is likely to be in the thousands. Although there isn't an exact estimate, data from the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife show that coyote populations are highest in forested regions, including the Pine Barrens and northwestern counties such as Sussex and Hunterdon. Coyotes have been sighted in a few of our parks, including Crystal Lake, Smithville, and the Concora Trail. Fortunately, coyotes are naturally wary of people and rarely act aggressively. However, if you ever encounter a coyote, maintain your distance and make very loud noises to scare them off. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Species Spotlight.